City and Norfolk Board of Health on April the 5th, 2016. The meeting has now come to order. And we have a couple of items on our agenda. The first being a variance hearing for Nine Old Coach Road. Um, and before we start, I have to read this. I should have it memorized, not quite. A variance hearing from Board of Health Regulations is called to order for Nine Old Coach. It is my duty to inform the applicant You'll have to provide the board with data to support your request. Um, and that if uh, the board does not grant you the request, it'll do you manifest injustice. You have to show that what you intend to do is environmentally acceptable as well. So by way of applicant, are we talking about Bill? Are you Bill? Yes, I am. I'm sorry. Welcome, Bill. Hi. Bill Gottwald? Gottwald, yeah. That's All right. Me. So you're on. What would you like to do? Would you like a set of plans? No, to I, I, I can see that. All right. uh, two variance requests here. Yep. One, uh, the very high ground water table there. I think it was at uh, about two and a half feet, something like that, 30 inches. Uh, so we, we had to do a sieve, so we're asking for a variance for sieve, mm -hmm. and we're also asking for a uh, four to three ground water separation. Okay, reduction of ground water separation. Yes, sir. And a uh, sieve, sieve test sieve rather sieve than. Test. Rather than one more perk. Wade, what's your feeling about that? Um, the sieve test is justifiable. We got groundwater at 36 inches and modeling at 28, yep. and the area where Mr. Gottwall wanted to perk was saturated, it was underwater. So we couldn't perk. And the state allows the um, alternative method through the sieve analysis as a policy. Mr. Gottwall followed the um, procedures, and his design there shows it, it follows the policy. Well, looking at the soil is uncompacted, so I believe there's a 0.15 on the um, variable that you designed for it. 0.15. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. It, it was, was 0.33, uh, isn't it? No, 0.33 gallons per day per square feet. Mm -hmm. 0.15 is really, compacted. It's the highest it can be. So that's for our class 2 soils, uncompacted soils. They'd be at 0.33, mm -hmm. and that's, that's good. The other comments I had was the encroachment of groundwater. The area itself is, is supported through private wells for all the residents in that part of the town. Locally, you have regulations where um, soils of that type um, would require four feet distance to groundwater, 100 feet from the wellhead. Um, Scott Wells asking for a foot closer to it. My only concerns are is that the area, it's, it's a density situation where there's a lot mm -hmm. of people there on on-site septics with private wells. Mm -hmm. So you would get a cleaner effluent with four feet versus three. And, mm -hmm. and to lift it up, it wouldn't really be that much of a difference because his, he already has a pump in his design. And if you're lifting up a foot, he would have to change the height of the impervious barrier, possibly some of the grading around it, and he would satisfy the four feet above ground water. Mm -hmm. So it's your recommendation to um, go with the uh, the sieve analysis, but hold back on the four to three. Yes, I would. Yeah. Only only because of the public health aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Come this, Jeff. Um, I agree with Wade. Um, with the height changing to four feet, you could even use a smaller profile chamber, and the height the whole height of the system wouldn't even go up that much. You could, but it doesn't make that much difference. But I, they, they have a, they have a, a small, inch, but, yeah. but still, as far as I don't have a problem with raising it, but DEP, I mean, I I meet all the requirements of DEP, so I I, mm -hmm. I don't think saying that it's a, a health issue is really a problem because DEP allows you to go four to three feet. Mm -hmm. I meet the well setback. I can see if the well setbacks were were less than hundred feet. That's not an issue here. But, but I, I have no problem doing it. But yeah. I'm just saying, I don't. I don't think your your um, uh, saying that it's a health issue is really uh, a problem. Yeah. Well, I, I think it is though because although DEP allows it, obviously if you have something better, no, let me finish. I, I don't let have a problem with it. But let I, finish. I don't think you let do. Let me finish. I will. All right. Too late now. <laughs> um, DEP allows it in a repair situation, um, but if it can be easily met the standards, meet the standards, then that's the case here. Then I think it is a health concern. I and if they, you can meet it, they all can which meet you it. can, they all can meet it. Should try and to and meet just it. about anyone can meet it. But I think 
95% of the boards give that requirement. It, it just helps out the homeowner. It, it's an added cost to the homeowner, and it reduces the value of the property. I think if it was uh, your own property, you would feel the same. There's, but I will have no problem doing well, it. I'm not there arguing are, with there you. Are, I'm just saying that there are several different technologies that could get that height down. You could go with the drip system. You could go with a different type of chamber. So you, the height si yeah, situation doesn't hold true. water. It, it does. Uh, drip system, maybe. You can go, you, people say a presby, but a presby is two feet thick. The height is still the same. It's true. Yeah, it's, it's, you get this, the 12 feet in the sand underneath. But again, there are, assist, there are alternative technologies that would work to get this height the same, if not lower. I, I'd like to. They said the drip system itself would drop this down if you wanted to the go with that. The drip system could drip, but with the, uh, okay, I have no problem doing what you want, but I, I just don't. So all we're saying is that, again, we're not telling you what system to use, but we're saying the four-foot separation should be met. I have no problem with that, but I'm just saying DEP allows three feet, mm -hmm. so I don't think the going forward to three feet saying it's a health issue is a, uh, a strong case, but I will do what you want. I, I really don't. Yeah. Just, just you, you can say what you want, but... The DE people have, have done this a lot of research on mm -hmm. it. And um, you know. And you think that the sand separation of three feet provides adequate treatment for viruses? Does. You have to show me something that, that, that equals what you're saying. Because for uh, all uh, we've seen and all the studies I've seen, the three feet is not of sand is not an accurate um, treatment media. Well, it's not just sand. It's, a, uh, it's three feet of 30-inch uh, right? material. But yeah, you're but bringing fill in, right? True. Which is sand. True. Okay. Just, oh, yeah. just to go, oh, thank you. Just to go back to the DEP thing, you know, Title Five allows local boards grant variances on, on repairs, and they allow the boards of health to allow one foot variance. I'm not, that, but, but I, no, I, it's just an allowance. They're not, not encouraging it. They're not no. supporting it, and it's the local board of health that makes the final decision. And, and I'm not arguing with you at all. I just think that. Um, and this area, it's, it. it's not yeah. going to affect me personally at all. No, but I, this I will is, do it. No, but, but, I, no, but you're an engineer. You work in the area. I, I mean, it, it's, this is good to have discussions like this. You're going to be working on this board quite a bit. But the area there is, it has private wells, and all the water, groundwater, is used for, the, for portable water. And if you can make the water safer, I think that's better for, for the resident and all the other residents in the area. I, I'm not there's no other I'm just saying water that. source. And that's just my angle on yeah. it. All right. Well, I, I think we've fairly established where, where we are in all this. Um, and I, I think it's time to make a motion one way or the other. You want to take a shot at this, Jeff? Yep. Um, motion to grant a variance for use of a SIV analysis um, and deny the three-foot groundwater separation for Nine Old Coach Road. I will second that. Is there further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so just one quick thing. Sure. So I just get to bring you back the plan. It doesn't have to come back. Well, unless, it, unless it has other types of variances. Oh, no, no, no variants. I'll, yeah. I'll raise the foot. And I, I know you should want some more information on the pump. Yeah, that's, that's, that's correct. That's correct. correct. That's so right. that and, and raise it. I have no yeah. problem raising it, and, and I don't disagree. I just sometimes am not sure about the... Uh, but Bill, your, your opinion is, is valuable. I, I can see if the wells are a, a lot distance, but I live in a community where the wells are, are same thing, required 100 feet, the, the big lots. And, um, you know, I, I'm just curious why different boards go different ways. And it, it is contextual. I mean, this is nine old coach road. This is an area that was developed a long time oh, ago. Oh, I mean, it probably wouldn't be developed today. You got it, man. Today, the, the, this would not be built on, you know absolutely. I, I agree with you 100% on that, but I'm just that's, uh, that's a really good point. Yeah. And you do have infiltrators of six inches. They do, and I have used them before. And um, But your footprint will be a little bigger. Yeah. What are you still doing? I, I like to have the uh, the storage capacity. Yeah. And you have plenty of area there, too. I'm not... I'm not mm disagreeing with everything you guys said. I'm just curious, that's all. No. I, I personally, I, I agree with the full foot. You know, I just got a good question. All right. all right. So I will get it back to you, Wayne, and we'll go from there. Sounds good. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, Thank you sir. Appreciate it. <clears throat> all right. The uh, second and perhaps the last formal item on the agenda, reviewing the draft Tobacco 21 rigs and vote. And now we're missing our we're missing third. Cheryl, so I <laughs> kind of assumed you wanted to wait until we had a full board. I think we probably do. Okay. 
be nice to get everybody on board for this one. Um, yeah. So well, we'll have to postpone that till the next time. Excellent. And we'll get to when the next time is momentarily. Um, minutes. Reviewing the minutes of 223. Did you guys just, you were just discussing old Coach Road? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we were. Yeah. Did that? <laughs> It, well, it, it's half and half. Uh, they were looking for two things. They were looking for changing the testing uh, because there was so much high groundwater that it was difficult to do a perk test. So we did what's called a sieve test instead based on porosity of soil. And the other part was getting a lowering of the height above groundwater from normally it's four feet, the bottom of the septic system. They wanted to go to three. And we said, no, leave it at four. Or, or okay. use alternative. Well, we are, or I'll have designs. other procedures used. Yes, anyway. So the, go the so the, the the building will happen, but it'll happen with not all the requests for variances that were originally asked. One okay. yes, one I'm, no. I'm trying to purchase the house. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm, you know, a big part of that right now is I need an approval on the plan and uh, right to make sure my quotes are good before I go through with the bank here because it's a foreclosed property. So is the plan approved as is? No. 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 Well, come, come take a look at the plan yeah. for a minute. If you don't mind, Mr. Chairman. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. Public service here, man. Yeah, this, this is what was presented to the town for yep. application. Yeah. And the right. system is going to be three feet to groundwater. <clears throat> and we couldn't do a percolation test, so we did a sieve analysis, which is which is acceptable by the state. And that's the size to size of the new chamber. So the Board of Health said yes for this, and they said no to that. Three Which is the? Water. It's the height of the system. So you want to move the system up a foot? A foot higher because the area is, has private, is supported by private wells and also in on-site septic systems. So it's considered, for new construction, it would be considered a um, nitrogen sensitive area because of, because of on-site septic systems. But we did talk about some alternative designs that might actually not require that additional foot to be so you used. Look, so the engineer said, "Fine, he can go back with a revision. He can, he can follow the." Okay, so that was the engineer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That was him. Okay. The door. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you've got to check with him about what he intends to do with this. Either raise it by a foot or try a different kind of system, which won't require raising it a foot. And you could also uh, communicate with our board health office too, see if the plans carry. You know, that would be Betsy right here. Yeah, well, I think we spoke like a week or so ago, just saying that you, yeah. you've got the plans. Um, Would you like this by any chance? Because it has the a, engineer's name on it? Is yeah, it I have a copy of Oh, that. you do? Okay, because yeah. you can call Bill up and, and ask him when the revision's coming in. Okay. Because um, I don't think the revision is going to be very difficult. <clears throat> no, I, you know, I, mean, I have like four days to buy the house or not. You know, I'm under my inspection here with the bank. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know what the changes are, obviously. I mean, we don't, we can't commit to it if, you know, it's going to cost 20 grand or 30 grand. It's a pretty big swing, so that's what our concern is. Mainly. Okay. I mean, you know, put us into your cost, you know, a good idea. Yeah, are you getting any bids now on how much it costs? Yeah, we've been collecting quotes, and the biggest okay. thing they're saying is, you know, it, it's not stamped, I mean, they can quote it, but, right, you know. Right. And, and the advice through. came out really well because it still hasn't been approved. This yeah, changes I know. That's, that's the thing. So maybe we probably I think talk can't deal with our deal right now. I think you talk to your engineer about, about the additional price. I might help you out with the material days. Because everything else. Is yeah, the size of the system is not the issue. It's just elevation. You get your pump and stop grading. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's already agreed to. The only thing that hasn't been agreed to is, is it here or is it here? Okay. But I mean, when would the next time to get this approved be? Within five days? Well, Wayne can do that. It depends on your engineer. It doesn't have to go in front of us again. It can be done in front of yeah, the sure in the engineer. Because we already granted the variances, which is needed for our approval and if the engineer designs differently when he designed the bonds he doesn't make any creates any new variances the design can be approved for today's approval of this analysis so mr gotwell can submit 
a plan tomorrow, and it could probably improve the very next day or over the following week. So that's why it's good to talk to Betsy in the office because she'd be following one of the permanents. All right. Um, Mr. Yeah. How, how could, I know you're thinking right now. How could uh, we help we've you out? done all our home inspections. This is the only thing that's left for us to buy the house. And essentially, I, I have like four days where, I, without this plan approved, I mean, my wife and I, we can't go through with this deal with the bank, you know, because we don't know if it's going to cost us $10,000. We have no It's just a big, big question mark for us. So. I mean, we're, we're basically going to have to it's go back to Fannie and get our money back and try to... It, it will be in a ballpark of what you're receiving now, the quotes. Basically, everyone's coming back to me and saying materials are... Why well, it's so... It's very, very high compared to most septic systems. They said if it was an in-ground septic system, it's like 8 to 12 grand. My quotes are coming in between 25 and 32 on this one. Well, they also have a pump system, yeah, too. Pump system. Yeah, pump that, that's what they said. And, and, they, they and said the high groundwater issues, you have to raise it up. And yeah, yeah. so between sand and the pump, that's yeah. what makes it more expensive. Sewer gravel, exactly. Title Five sand and right. pump is what they're saying is driving it up. So yep. it's, it's just yep. a lot more sand, I would yeah. imagine. And your neighbors are not have system. Everybody in that area has that yeah. same type of system. Yeah, yeah, I just, without a solid quote, I mean, I can't tell the bank, like, yeah, we're 100% on this. It's too big of a risk for us. So you're buying it as is? Yeah, it's a foreclosure. Mm -hmm. so well, maybe reach out to Mr. Cotwell tomorrow. Just going to say, yeah. talk to him. Yeah, and see how much. Yeah, I see how much more it costs yeah. and add it on to the quotes. Yeah. Uh, he, he needs to revise the plan because he's not actually doing the system, he's doing the engineering of the plan, is correct? Right, he doesn't install it. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I've talked to a couple guys in town and in Medway and stuff like that that are yeah. actually the excavators and, and talk to them too to see if we can revise yeah, the quotes of the, the ballpark again. Yeah. And make sure the ballpark also has loam and seed on it too, because that's part of it. Yeah. You don't want yeah. to grass it, you know. Yeah. I mean they, they do. I've gotten pretty decent quotes so far. Uh, just obviously they're not gonna What's your name again? Uh, Leo Cohen. Okay. Well, Leo no matter what um Whoever buys the house, it's going to be the same system. Yeah, that, that's fine. I guess we were just kind of hoping it would be approved. And, <laughs> you know, I, I, I can't just buy the house without an approved plan. You know, and that's crazy. Yeah, you should be doing that you know, anyway. So it's just. I tried to go in banking on variances too. You know, but it's partial. I, I, I don't. I've yeah. never dealt with the septic. You don't know what we're getting into. You know, we're just. But a lot of the field work's been done. A lot of the footwork's been done. This footprint of the septic system is almost near completion. I you should talk to the engineer and maybe talk to some of the Because if you can turn around and revise the plan tomorrow and get it to us, we can have a permit in a few days. Or, or if you can just tell the contractors how much change it's going to be, then they can give a better quote. Then you can go to the banks for it. Because pushing the government permit through is kind of difficult too, but knowing how much it's going to cost. I think that could be more realistic. And then just to go walk and get in, we can get the plan as quickly as we can for you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that's all it needs to cost. I mean. Okay. Okay. I think that would be your best bet. Mm -hmm. you know, I wouldn't, it's still there. It's, the goal's still there. A lot of the footwork's been done. This is, this is a very valuable piece of information for the contractors. You're just going to lift it up either a foot or six inches. Depends on what Mr. Well decides on what kind of leaching facility he's going to put in there. It might be longer, so it's going to be able to, so yeah, the cost will change. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Hang in there. It's, it's, it's exciting times buying a new house. Yeah. And you'd be happy that this thing is properly put in because you're going to be drinking the water and drinking the milk. Yeah, you've got a whole lot done right. I just, you know, depending on that well, the federal key kids and Kids. Yeah, I, I mean, we can go ahead and cancel the deal at this point, you know. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I mean. You can't, you can't extend it? Uh, they're not going to let us extend it. I mean, they, they have $17,000 of ours that we need to get that back. 
before they keep it. We, have, we have only have a certain inspection well, period. And well, I'm not going to risk 17 grand without knowing what the plan is. Okay. So we're going to have to start over. All right. We'll just go on a call tonight. See what Today's electronics, things can be done really quickly now. Yeah. People scan things, or approvals, acceptance of different locations that's needed. Even when town hall can be closed, you can still receive information from the town hall. Plus, in a situation like this, we can work to help you out. Yeah. But we need a revision to come back in. We still got work to do. Yeah, that's stuff. very good. Just dealing with the different contractors that are in there, so we don't turn around quotes like that. So you're talking four days starting tomorrow, or today's one, one, of, the, one of the four days? Today, I'm on the, today's the sixth day of our 10-day inspection period. Today's the sixth, okay, and we got mm -hmm. 27, eight days. So, uh, then by Saturday? Yeah, that would be our 10th day. could probably be workable. So I understand that it's not their fault, but right. just don't think that they do. I, I don't know anything about it. I'm not saying it should have been approved that night, obviously, mm -hmm. right? It's just kind of a bummer. Yeah, but I would still go forward with it. Talk to the engineer, get the, see if we can do the revision quick, get into town hall, um, have them put your name on the application also, or, or leave your name with Betsy, so there can be some communication with you. With the, with the application and then see how it works out. And you're talking about Saturday, right? Yeah. For approval. You, would you approve it? You also need a quote too from the contractor or you can do it all at once maybe? Well, I mean, I need them to quote and approve the plan. I okay. mean, they, you know, the quote plan is not approved. Okay. Then, then the revision coming in, have them put a quote on that. So take the chance that, that Mr. Gottwald is designing it. Pretty much got. It's pretty much got Why don't you check with Mr. Gottwald in the morning and then give me a call and let me know how you make out? Okay. Okay. We'll, do that. we'll work it out for you. Okay. Good luck, though. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Take yes. care. It's nice Thanks. to see you. Nice yeah. to meet you in person. Nice to meet you. All right. So we can't vote on tobacco. Right. So <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Maybe I won't be here next well, time. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll just keep cycling around on this for the next couple of years. Be meeting at your house. Yeah, I'm saying I might not be here. The election might happen. You never know. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, they have to start all over again with someone new. Learning process. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> More learning oh, curves. God. So, no. reviewing. Well, let's, let's meet. Before, can we try and meet before the election? I the election. Oh, May 3rd. Oh, I'm sure. Gee, that's for us. That's, that's, an, that's like, yeah. That's, yeah, that's geez, tomorrow. That's tomorrow. <laughs> that's like, yeah. Um, yeah. Well. Nice going, Jeff. Hey, Cheryl's not here. All right. Um, let's talk about, in order, are, you, are the minutes here? You, you didn't yeah, they're, right you there. they're actually right here. Cheryl's right here. They're right here. That's but it? Look at how short they are. Our five-minute meeting, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Vote on. Look this, this, I know. Oh, you can't. We can't right, vote on can't them. Vote he wasn't there. Cross that one off. Cross okay. that one off. <laughs> Next meeting. Engineering contract is expired. Obviously, Jeff, you didn't miss anything. That. That. So yeah, soon. you should have been here. Man. Yeah, put it off until he was at the note. Cheryl does it. Oh, this is going to keep going. I know. Right. Um, Engineering contract. Wow, that's that's quick. It is quick. Has it been two years? I know. Already. Yeah. How long was that? Oh, what, two years? Three years? Was, that was two. three years. It had to be no, two. No, I thought it was two. Yeah, Maybe we did a two year. I, I don't think remember, it was a two. But I think we're expiring. Uh, yeah. Um, I'll double check it, but. That'd be a work tie to me. <coughs> you can. We have two options. We can either put out another RFP. Mm -hmm. Um. Or I think you can vote to extend it a year. And we can talk about it at our next meeting. But I just wanted to give you right. the heads I wanted well, to give you the heads up. Heads up is a good idea. Mm -hmm. It'll take all three of us to make that decision. Mm -hmm. um, so we're talking extension or RFP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I'd be inclined to go with the extension of the time. Well, especially since how long it takes us to go through things. I oh, mean, my God. We're not going to be it's done by torture. the 30th. Uh, I know. Uh, or even if we decide to go in RFP. So I mean, I, I could be retired and going by then. You know. talk to her about it. But <laughs> all right. All right. Um, um, do you want to try and meet the 26th of April? Is the week after school vacation, Jack? Probably okay. As it is right now, it is unless some pops up yeah. for work, it's fine. That's senior week for us, so I'll be around. You will be around? You'll be around here? Yeah. Our graduation is like May 2nd or something. I just thought it'd be nice to get a meeting in before the election. What is it? Is it the just in case, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they said, unless something jumped up for work right now. Yeah, because I think the election is the week after on the 3rd, and then town meeting is the 10th, so. Right. All right, let's try to get it done this month. Okay. You want to shoot for April 26th? Sure. Okay. And you'll send an email to all of us? Mm hmm Of yeah. course. The day before, of course, of course. Huh? The day before, Remember, too, as a reminder. I know, it's good. Did you see good. my, I was going to send it out Thursday, and Jeff uh, says, no, send it out Monday. <laughs> Day before. All right. Um, chairman updates. I think this has to do with the situation down on the corner of uh, Maine and Needham. And um, I have some updates on that. Go ahead. You can be the chairman. It's all yours. Okay. So I did have a conversation. They are five. They did with the town um, council. They're filing. He was filing a thought yesterday um, to put it into receivership. So um, and he was going to ask for a hearing on April 21st, but he was going to call and let me know on that one. So it is moving forward with the court. So what happens if that does go through? Then? You guys so they'll appoint a receiver who will be responsible for cleaning up the property. Um, and I think that they will put a probably put a lien on the property so that he has to pay you know, the, pay for the cleanup. Yeah, yeah, pay for the services. Um, and if he doesn't pay, then the town can take the house. So. Come to that, huh? Let's come to that. Well, unfortunately, there's no electricity now, there now. Oh. During that February, I think, fifth storm that we had with the high winds, uh, um, the service from the street to the house got taken out, um, and unless he upgrades his electrical service, they can't reconnect him. So they have like a 75 amp or something like that? Whatever it is, yeah. So anyway, I'm not sure if he's staying there. I heard a rumor he's staying with a relative. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Anyway. Right. So that was my update in a nutshell. Yeah. So to be continued, but I think it's going to be continued not for too much longer. I think uh, we're going to be seeing action pretty soon. I think you're going to probably be seeing as action. Long, as long as the court goes along with it. There'll probably be some action before our, our next meeting. Really? That group that's tied well, for this meet, Yeah, if we have a hearing on the 21st of April. Yeah. So at that point, hopefully, they'll have appointed a receiver. Hmm. I'm sure people will be happy to hear that part at least. Mm -hmm. So the only other business I just wanted to bring to you, this was a letter from out of Butter to the Run and Gun Club. We met with the neighbors. That was given. It was sent to the Board of Selectmen, but we CC'd on that. I just wanted you to see that. So they just received this. Yeah. So 
I did get a copy of their entertainment license. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not on there, huh? Oh, it's that one. This is, uh, well, this is practice shoots. Yeah, was that so These are battle races. Shoots with G. Let's see, shoot. What's this? Shoots with G. Wait, 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 this has been starting that day. Second and August 6th. So there's only two. Mm -hmm. Two shooting. Shoots. Right. As they call and it. Right. And neither date is on May. So I know that this it wasn't addressed to us. We were CC'd and there really isn't much of an issue for us. Just a couple of issues. He had questions on the porta potty use. I was told that he'll have two porta potties on on site and the people that come for the events that haul their yeah. horses actually have they have bathrooms in their trailers for the, for themselves for themselves wait is there what's so the, um, and I don't think that there's many spectators that go to these events but um, and then they the participants also their horse manure they uh, yeah. they take it with them take it with them. <laughs> Wait, what's the requirement though for porta potties or facilities with crowds like that? There's a certain number. Yeah, there's certain numbers. And I assume uh, it has to be based on the capacity of the place and not the actual people there, right? Well, it, this is an outdoor event, so it could be. Um, but they have bleachers, I believe. I think I would yeah. imagine they have. Seats. I don't think they. I don't think that they do have bleachers. I don't think they actually have many spectators that come, but right. there's got to be some number that you're assuming right. is going to be there. Well, they must have numbers. This right. Is, yeah. But they well, have, I, I think, think the number that we're talking about 60. is the 60. I agree, though. I know participants, and that's usually not what you hear about people watching it. Spectators and yeah. opposed to participants say you're going to be involved in I honest, I don't know if they'll have more now because it's been kind of publicized, but... Um, I believe that the selectmen last time, last year, required porter jobs. Yeah, and they are. They did say that they're gonna. They're, they're and still no be complaints. Porta Johns on site. Yeah, and there's no complaints of people using the woods or the bathrooms or anything else of that nature. But I could come up with a number of porta potties required. Per required yeah, required based upon on the number on the population. Sure, that could be easily done. And I think the ranch itself, their own horses, I think they actually have dumpster for the horse manure. It's hauled off, so nothing's, I don't think any of the horse manure is kept on site for. It'd be a pretty bad maintenance of the facility to leave it hanging around. Well, my last, my last visit there, which was a couple of weeks ago, I did, uh, it was mentioned, the horse manure, because they do have wells on site, mm -hmm. and they put it in a trailer and they um, ship it off through a landscaper who makes yeah. it into loan. Yeah. In the back of their property, which is like eight acres, they have they do put some manure back there, way in the back there. In the back. Like a compost pile? Like a compost pile, yeah, but the majority of it goes off on a trailer, yeah. off site. And there I saw the trailer. It was right mm -hmm. next to the barn. Mm -hmm. right. And my observation of the paddocks were, were clean. I didn't see any piles of manure sitting around anywhere. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the issues being raised in that letter, what do those impact the board? The Board of Health? I mean, that actually haven't been already addressed. I think it would be number six. 
the Port of Jones? The Port of Jones. And we can make a recommendation, right? Yes. Well, it said there's got to be, if we're going to go with the number, yeah. we're going to say 60 is the number, then it's got to be how many how many of those required, assuming 60 people are going to be there. Right, right. Let's get back to you on that. Maybe, a, maybe a, just a follow-up letter. Wade, what do you think to help? You know that there's a lot of um, what? neighborhood Concern. We should probably address it to the Board of Selectmen then, just as, as we reviewed this letter. And okay. then, Wade, you could probably quote chapter and verse from some health regulation about yeah. porta parties required for 60 people, right? Sure. Or might even from the company who supplies porta johns. Yeah, so it might have a recommendation on the crowd control mm -hmm. on, on their so own. So, just experience. something that said we look into it and believe this should be the number of porta johns. Because right. what we don't want is porta johns overflowing, people right. running into the woods, and so far that has not happened. Mm -hmm. Well, there hasn't been a list of complaints. The complaints are different than that. Mm. It's right. noise, it's dust. As long as it's there, yeah. nothing like yeah. human activity. Proactive instead of reactive. Exactly. And the removal of, of horse waste, I think they already have it because they have existing paddocks and they've been maintaining their waste properly. Mm -hmm. I think the, uh, and you've, wet, yeah, I mean, you've been there, so. I've been there, but also getting something from the animal office would be good, too, just to see okay. what his opinion would be because he inspects bonds and out there. Is there a man, Chris? Chris is our animal inspector. Hillary is our animal control officer. So maybe Chris would be a good animal inspector. Because he's the yeah. bottom inspector. You mm -hmm. the first one that went to the pig, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he would be the one looking at the animals, looking at the, how well they're being taken care of, the manure control. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, right, I think it's a good idea to be proactive. All right, so maybe just in a letter we should put a recommendation that he either reviews during or after the event to make sure it's been taken care of properly, something like that. Well, yeah, let's say right after it makes the most sense. I mean, the during piece is going to be the shoot 'em up part, yeah. right? Or the barrel races. I guess there are more barrel races yeah, than there are shots. But just quite a, a, just yeah. a recommendation. I don't know if we can even put that, or they can put that requirement on them now that this is already issued as a permit. I don't know if they can amend oh. that or not. Oh, is that active right now? That's yeah, that's, that's their list. That's right. the, oh, um, with, with the schedule. Actual permit. I just got yeah. that today. Oh. I asked for a copy. I thought it would be helpful. So they that's get very helpful. They got two shoots and how many barrel races? Looks a like bunch. a dozen or so. Does that usually involve people and com competitors driving in with their trailers and their... I believe so, and the horses, yeah. Hmm. Well, this license doesn't mention Port of Jones. No, it doesn't. But, again, just put them out for you, we should at least make we a certain, recommendation. We, we can. can. Yeah, maybe we can reach out to so just that, and said just a, maybe a, a, a recommendation that the animal guy takes a look at it afterwards. But again, we can't force it on them. I don't even think they can force it at this point since the permits are already issued. So. Yeah. But the animal inspector can go there after if he wants to. If he feels needed to, just make sure that um, the barns and the areas. Can he enter the premises just with a. An animal inspector can, yes. Okay. Because he's there to inspect the barns. So just on the. On the um, it's a hunch, so to speak, or at least on no, the... No, because, no, let's be real. Level. No, they had a large ar large activity going on there with a lot of different horses coming in. Just want to see how the air is being maintained after, making sure the manure mm -hmm. is being cleaned up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you say that by recommendation, we should go look at it. Then. Yeah. Then we could probably help the procedures. It's not mentioned food giants, Delbert. It does mention food permit. Has a food mm -hmm. permit been submitted to the board? They action? have not. No, they're not serving food. Okay, so not serving food. <laughs> so people what are trucking in their food and trucking out? They must bring their own. Well, if somebody just provides it to people who come in, and they're they're not paying for it, right? Somebody could go to Roach Brothers and get a tray of you right. Know, so deli does that require a board health permit? Then? No, 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 no. But it'd be nice to get trash cans for their own property. They'd be running around picking up trash themselves. I'm sure they wouldn't like that. Yeah. 
Wood. We've had no complaints of trash. That's no, what I'm no, we have two things: there. dust, noise. <laughs> <laughs> so let's not make more things we even know exist. Mr. Chairman, you're absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. There's, there's some control there. There's some good mm. stuff going on there. Mm. Thank you. 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 Um, motion to adjourn. Well, in terms of the date, twenty sixth, you said. Uh, yeah, we're going to shoot that out. I'll send an email to right. how, how that works for Showerall, and hopefully we can okay. meet on the I'll day. get together one more time before. <laughs> yeah, before the gang breaks up, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just going to be. Might stickers. not necessarily <laughs> break up. Might not. All right. Let's assume not. So, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. I'll second all in favor. Aye. Aye.